Hello everyone. This is a short video um, going a little bit fast, four times the speed. So if you want to catch on, you can slow it down, I think, to 0.5 and you'll be able to catch along. Um, I'm using Shimaseki to make a plaid print. I just learned this software, something brand new. I'm going to work on getting a certification over the next month and then I can give you guys more details on how to use the program and some of the uh, things that I found out about actually making plaids, patterns, uh, stripes, prints, embroideries, jacquards, all of that kind of stuff. So I'm really into it. So you might see a lot of new items in my fabric collection. Uh, I don't know if you guys know, but I started making fabrics on uh, ArtStation. So you can find me under the Fashion Indie and uh, you can watch my collection grow and hopefully get some stuff that you like. I'm going to be applying U3MA um, properties to most of my uh, prints and most of my patterns. So you actually be able to get physics out of the whole thing, which is the point, I think. Um, so not just prints and patterns, but uh, as I'm building this pattern, you're going to see me go into a program that is called Style 3D. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, apply some of the properties that I'm talking about. So yeah, I'm really into uh, just creating different things. With Shimaseki, you can actually pick the different yarns. They have a great yarn library. And you can actually pick the different yarns that go with your pattern. You can pick the different um, pattern directions and pattern specifics uh, to bring out and enhance your stripe, plaid, print, uh, what have you. So it, it renders out in a real weave type of thing. So you can use that for your textures. And I'm going to go ahead and pull it into the Style 3D uh, Fabric Creator where they have a separate platform uh, that is for fabric. I can go ahead and pull in all of the maps and uh, I can go ahead and test the fabric out. I can start to play with the physics. You can basically select um, just the physics that, and it will show you right in real time as you render. It will show you your changes. It will show you what you know the selection looks like on the fabric so if you want to go ahead and pick from their library um, and then modify it you can definitely do that or if you want to just go with a fabric that you think is suitable for this type of uh, a plaid or print or or what have you you can go ahead and use the fabric creator for uh, in style 3d to do that it gives you your measurements it gives you the drapeability on a hanger so you can kind of see that but not only that like they have different um <clears throat> different you'll see different models that you can go ahead and uh take a look at what the actual garment looks like so you can see it on actual clothing too you can see uh, whether you want to change some of the uh, uh properties as far as how it applies to actual clothing so I'm playing around here just to see what the drape is like and to see what I can get out of it. You know, the bending, the warp, the weft, and just playing with it and customizing it a bit. And then I go ahead and <laughs> try different fabric properties and uh, see if it's something that I like. But yeah, so you can see it on clothing and you can see it like if there's right now I have a transparency map on there, which I end up taking off because... I see that it's making it uh, a little bit too transparent and I don't figure that out until the end but I go ahead and just try different different things and it's the, the beauty about it is that you're customizing this for your own library so if you're working on a collection if you're working on something that is just totally uh, unique to yourself this is a great way to do that and achieve it with these different softwares it's definitely for a professional level for someone going for like you know, uh, creating a collection, I want to say, or creating something unique. Um, really, this is where I start to see that I have that transparency map on and I take it off. But one thing I can tell you is that it gives you a definite preview of what you can be achieving uh, in the software and with the actual fabric creator. So I'm totally sold on this aspect of uh, looks good in a shirt. So I'm going to go ahead and just create a a uh, little cute little dress the avatars are very realistic they use pbr skin but the skin is like very realistic uh close up you can change the hair to any hair color you want um the actual customization of the avatars is really good 
I'm gonna go ahead and just use it as you know it's uh, very close to Clo 3d but it's not like some things are in, are just labeled differently and treated differently and I'm just gonna point out a couple of those things um, right now I'm just gonna go ahead and use this the pretty much the same tools to make a top and a skirt but one thing I will tell you is that uh, learning the software has a bit of a curve if you don't know anything about uh, using 3D software. But if you do, it is quite kind. Um, right now, they're going through a lot of customizing, changing uh, of the interface and changing of the different icons. So a month ago, it didn't look like this. Uh, you might see some other videos where it looks a little bit different, but this is the current version. Right now, um, I want to say... Uh, Sewing is very easy. Uh, so, you know, the thing that I like the most about it is the default cloth. The default cloth is actually uh, a little less forgiving uh, than the Clo, Clo 3D cloth, not to make uh, too many comparisons, but I like the fact that it offers less collision, even at a higher particle distance, if that makes sense to any users who are uh, trying to figure out like what exactly is the difference. There are nuances that are different um, there are things that are the same, which are the same for any 3D program, but I will say that um, there's an ease of use that I found, and there's also uh, the way they treat the textures is a lot different, and textures from avatars, textures from, uh, you know, the fabrications, all of that. There's a lot less collision in the fabric, which when I uh, do the animation for this part, you will see that there's a lot less collision. But basically the pattern making tools are pretty much on point. Um, and there might be a little bit growth in that area. I haven't really tried the grading or tried the pattern plotting or anything like that, but it is available. Um, so I will be putting out more videos using this and uh, using Browseware for you guys so that you can start to learn some of the other programs that are very competitive out here. And um, just one of the things that you have to remember is that 3D is not going anywhere. So as long as you can uh, learn the concepts of 3D, it will make the transition from just being a pattern maker or a technical designer or whatever part of your profession it is that you might need to start using 3D. It will make it a lot easier uh, just learning the concepts and how to build and how to, you know, right now I'm smoothing out some of the lines uh, here, but I'm going to go ahead and skip over this part. But these are pattern making tools inside the program. And once you get it right, you can have a successful uh, 3D life. <laughs> and I say that because, um, you know, it's been a journey. It is a journey and uh, it's not going anywhere. I always tell people now is the time to learn it because you will become one of the pioneers and you'll become one of the people who are implementing this inside the fashion industry. Uh, you know, soon it will be just like Illustrator became the go-to program. These 3D programs will be... Um, standard i want to say so as i'm making this dress here there are some things that i need to change and you know i want to change the drape i want to change the uh you know the put some elastic on the skirt and change the fabric and there are all these little nuances that make an original creation but style 3d i found is very very user friendly and very intuitive so it's not hard to learn but it is it is a challenge if you don't know anything about pattern making or if you don't know anything about 3D programs. So get ready to, you know, buckle down and learn once you start uh, working with the program. And I'm going to go ahead and add that fabric that I made, custom fabric. Give me a second here as I figure out <laughs> to apply it to the whole thing. That's one of the things that's a little bit different. Like usually I can drag and drop. But for some reason, it didn't work here, the drag and drop the fabric. So I thought I had done it, and I thought something was wrong, and I just realized that there's no fabric on there. So I'll go ahead, and uh, you can see the physics adjust as I add it to the garment, and it just kind of perks up a little bit. Um, the first time I worked with the animation, I was very pleased. They've added some new animations, um, not just the walking animation, but I'm going to use the standing animation, which is just kind of like standing and looking around and 
Uh, of course, you have to hit record in order to see it render. The first time I did it, I was a little bit afraid of collision on one of the uh, hand poses. But what I realized is that the collision is not the same as it is in Chloe because she's just touching the garment. She's not really got her hand inside of it. So I got kind of used to the way Chloe, the avatar just kind of goes into the clothing. But here, this avatar doesn't do that. So I do re-render it without having to do all of that pulling and all that kind of stuff. So the final render you see will not have that uh, pulling on it. But like I said, this is something that is new and something that I'm going to be practicing in and giving you tutorials in. And it will be something that I hope you can use in your journey for 3D. And let's see how flexible this program is. Let's see if we can get some... Uh, some nice renders in Blender and get some nice things in Keyshot done and let's see where we can take this. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, render this out. Now one thing I will say, not only are the animations great, but they also have a, um, a render section where the scene section, I should say, the scene section has a, a very wide variety of scenes. Um, and one of the things I noticed is that they're perfect for walking animations and for just standing and, uh, you know, still animations. So, hold on. Yes, second. I did. Just didn't want to go through that whole rendering thing all over again. But um, now this is the final render and I'm going to go ahead and pick a scene. One of the things I noticed is that, um, you know, with the poses and with the animation, they are very realistic and... Even the lighting and everything, the setup for the for the actual scenes was well, not just your standard runway scene. Like that's not the only scene that you have. So they allow you to just move things around and they give you props. They give you these really cool props like streets and uh, fences uh, with a, this one has a tree and clouds in the background. And it's just perfect for like a standing animation or a standing render. But if you wanted to modify it, to be like a runway you could like there are those options and there are options that are just uh for the runway so you're going to see this render at the end of the video and i'm going to go ahead and uh let this play out but i just go ahead and manipulate it a little bit manipulate the angle get it to be something where i think is realistic and adds a little bit of depth through the whole project and and that's it guys and i hope you appreciate this little quick IG tutorial. Um, as you know, this is at the Fashion Indie, and I am the Fashion Tech on YouTube. And you guys can come and follow me. And like you said, I, I like I said, <laughs> I will be putting out more, and more, and more content with Style 3D because I love it so much. And I will not forget about my Clo babes and my Browsewear babes. So. You guys will see a lot more content coming from me. I've been on a little hiatus, but I'm back. So enjoy, everyone.